Welcome back! For those who didn't watch my first video, this is going to be a step-by-step -step of the 2012 Cicada puzzle, with some important comments about various tools involved along the way. I know people are more excited for me to talk about what happened after the 2012 puzzle, but not only do I feel like context is important, but the whole point of this project was that there needed to be an easier to take in record of what happened both during the years and after them. So let's talk about where it all started. Much to the chagrin of some, 3301's search for highly intelligent individuals began on 4chan of all things. Some people would find the imagery posted on other sites, but the originals for two out of the three years were posted on 4chan. The day that this image appeared on a number of different boards, 3301 was a name no one had heard of before that made their claims of hidden messages and highly intelligent individuals a little hard to take at face value. It seemed like the sort of trolling or ARG-like puzzles you would expect out of 4chan, and a lot of users, myself included, just let it pass by. It was only after being linked back to it by a friend who assured me it wasn't a waste of my time that I really looked into it. So here's our first message. As 3301 likes to do, the hidden message part of this has a bit of a double meaning, so we'll talk about one and then the other. For the average solver, what you would do to find this first message is by looking at this image in either a hex dump or a text editor to get something like the following. The message we got is this, which to anyone who's ever heard of classical cryptography before, this is obviously a Caesar cipher. It's one of the simplest encryptions, and Cicada's really starting us off quite slowly. It's normally just solved by shifting letters forward and back in the alphabet a set number across all of the letters, but this particular one is a little bit more like ROT13 or something like that, where we're shifting on the ASCII table to get the special characters as well. It's solved something like this. It gives us a link, which if we follow, we get to the infamous duck picture. I'm pretty sure certain solvers are still arguing about whether the duck was just for the decoy joke, or whether there was a greater meaning, much like the communities picked up on arguing about the meaning behind the text of the Libra Primus, or the painting from the first video. Regardless, here's where we get to the first tool we're going to talk about, and a brief conversation about what on earth steganography is. A judicial application of Google, or a bizarrely complete understanding of obscure steganography software, would lead anyone at this stage to talking about outguess. Over all three years, Outguess is going to be one of Cicada's favorite tools, so it's worth spending some time here to talk about it, what it is and what its limitations are. Unlike the text added at the end of the image we saw before, good steganography aims to not be detectable by outside sources once the information has been added. My understanding of how exactly it works in Outguess is by finding blocks of similar color and changing the color values of specific pixels by a point, which would be unnoticeable under normal viewing the file, but allows Outguess to find those and get the information back again. This makes the software have a few limitations. It really only works on one file type, JPEG, and the more information you want to hide in it, the significantly larger the file has to be. It's why you see such truly massive images in later years' puzzles when 3301 wants to hide more information or when they use entirely separate methods when they want to hide entire files. So there's been a lot of talk about Outguess, why they used it, uh, a lot of time put in with the source code trying to find a way of profiling an image to figure out if there's Outguessable data in it before you have tried it or have tried keys on it. Uh, this is probably an entire video on its own. If there's interest in it and you mention that in the comments, I might make a video on it between the 2012 and 2013 set. Regardless, running out guess with the R flag retrieves the changes they've made and spits it out as text. So let's try that on our first image. This is also coming back around to being the second meaning of the hidden message. So I'll briefly show you the book code that results before we move on, because the nice thing about a book code is how useless it is on its own. Instead, the link at the top is going to bring us to the subreddit. All of these posts are made by the same user, and with two exceptions, the titles of each post are the only content. There's no text and no comments. I'll skip over that picture in the first post, as that was actually added a month or two later when the solving was finished, so we're only going to talk about the content that would have been there when you first arrived. So there's two posts that weren't just a title, and we're going to deal with those now because they're likely the most important step of any of the Cicada puzzles. The first one is Welcome. Not a notable picture at all, but when it's outgassed, we get the following message, and here it is. It's the introduction of the PGP key. The important line here, and the reason that any of the subsequent Cicada years were even possible, was the line, 
we will cryptographically sign all messages with this key. From here on out, with an exception of one or two where something else in the same step was already signed, everything 3301 has ever said again has been signed. It's publicly available, so you don't even need to have done any of the 2012 puzzle to get a copy of it. If you're currently working on literally anything to do with Cicada, and you're not checking for this signature on every step, you need to go and get set up for PGP verification. Failing to properly verify is the primary way anyone's accomplished any of the game jacking, the troll puzzles, or any other fake cicada so far. This is really the key to the rest of the puzzle. So I'll be linking here to a PGP tutorial I'm planning to post at the same time, as well as to a text version on the Uncovering Cicada wiki in the description of the video. The rule from this post onwards is no PGP, no cicada. So let's talk about the other of the two images then. It's a little hard to get much out of. It obviously has a repeating pattern with some heavy distortion in places, and a lot of people would go on and spend a lot of time either trying to get it back to its original pattern or figure out what sort of lines the distortion were making to see if there's something meaningful in that. And when you go ahead and outguess the picture, you get the following message, which mocks you immediately for doing any of that. Instead, this is a hint for us to head back to the subreddit and look at the first thing that loads when we open the page. These right here at the top. Now, if you've never seen Maya numerals before, here they are, and I'll add a translation on screen as well. As you can see, what we've got here is a string of numbers, so it's time to go back to shifting letters. We're going to apply these to the titles of all of these posts with no other text in them, and as we do, we start getting a giant block of text. It results in the following, which is supposed to be showing us what book to use. I'll drop a link in the description to the full text of it, but the name of it is the Mabinogian. It's some more Grail myth to go along with their jab at us earlier. It certainly seems like the theming for this year is the Grail quest, much as an equivalent to the 2013 Enlightenment journey or 2014's pilgrimage. Now in a book code, you've got pairs of numbers. The pairs in this case mean line and characters. So if we take our 120, we go to the first line and the 20th character, that's the first letter in our resulting message. So if we continue on that way for the whole code, we get the following phrase out of the book. Not surprisingly, this phone number hasn't been active in a very long time, but for the last thing we're going to do in this video, we'll listen to a recording of what you would have found there. I'll pick up from here in part two to talk about the posters and the coordinates, and then on to the end of the puzzle. But for now, here's the message. Very good. You have done well. There are three prime numbers associated with the original final dot JPEG image. 3301 is one of them. You will have to find the other two. Multiply all three of these numbers together and add a dot com on the end to find the next step. Good luck. Goodbye.